please support my channel by clicking on this red subscribe button right below the video. Once you get subscribed to my channel, do not forget to click on this bell icon right next to it in order to get notifications about my latest videos. And last but not least, if you like this video, please click on this like button in order to show me your love. Hey guys, Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now I'm back with a new video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your computer as a cloud for your phone. Now I'm referring this as a cloud because you guys can do it inside your home as well as you guys can do it outside your home if you guys have dedicated IP address allocated to your computer. So you guys can use that IP address and you guys can configure this software in such a way that it actually syncs with your computer within one minute interval, every one minute interval. There will be a separate folder inside our phone that will be synced with our computer within every one minutes interval like how you have in iCloud like how you have in Google Drive or else it works the same in OneDrive as well whatever you have in your Microsoft uh, Apple or else Google Drive you guys have a backup of it in your cloud drive now it depends upon what kind of interval you are selecting inside the software which we will be using inside this phone so there will be an application in that we'll have to set an interval like if you select one minute interval every one minute your phone's data will be synced with your computer so if you click photograph in your phone it will be synced with your computer with your pc so that if you by mistakenly delete that photo from your computer you still have that mirror image in your computer the concept is going to be really simple there will be two folders one is going to be in your phone and the second is going to be inside your computer your phone's folder will be synced with your computer folder so whatever uh, content you add in that phone's folder that will be synced with the folder inside your computer so guys i'm going to go step by step please consider replaying the video because the settings are a little bit uh, you know tricky so you guys have to make sure you guys do it right if in case you do something wrong entire phones content will be synced with the folder inside your computer so please make sure you select the folder right the source and the destination folder and that's it that's that's how it works guys so yeah guys without wasting any further ado let's get started with the video Alright guys, so let's start the video. First off, I'm gonna go to Play Store and uh, install an application called SMB Sync 2. Let me just uh, reduce the brightness of my camera so that you guys can see the, uh, the font. So this is the application and this is the icon of the application, how it looks like. So you guys have to install this application in your phone first. It's giving me option to update because I've already got this application installed on my phone. So I'm going to go to home screen and I will go to the application and I'll open it. And this is the home screen. This is how it looks like. We've got several tabs on the top of the page. We will be only uh, working on the first and the second tab. The first is going to be task and the second is going to be schedule. So we will be taking care of these two and we will be leaving the rest. Now you will see this uh, plus uh, icon right here at the bottom. You'll first have to click on this and that will open the settings. We'll first name the setting. So let's take it uh, phone sync. Okay, next I'll have to uh, come down and I'll have to click on this drop down which says sync type and I will click on copy. Now you can also select uh, mirror or move so mirror is something which is similar to what you can do in copy but move is something wherein you know the data will be moved from your phone it will be deleted from your phone and it will be uh, transferred to your computer so I'll just go for copy and I'll just skip this one and I'll come to master folder source and here I'll just click on this and then it's asking me to select a source location to be more specific. So first off, I'll go to uh, the file manager and I'll click on these three dots right here on the top of the page and I will create a folder. Like once I click on here, it will give me an option to create a folder right here. And I have created a folder already. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, I've got it right here which says PC sync. This is the folder which I've made. We've got 19 items in it already. So all these are the wallpapers once I make a folder in my computer and once I am done with the settings all these uh, wallpapers gets transferred or get synced with 
uh, the PC and now I will click on the drop down and I'll select internal storage and this is the part wherein we are selecting our source location I will have to click on list directories and then I'll have to select uh, the folder which I made this PC sync and I'll click on select and we'll save the settings now the second is going to be the target folder which is the uh, destination now I will move on to my computer and I will make a separate folder so guys this is our uh, PC this is the desktop screen uh, now I have created a folder called phone sync right here as you guys can see uh, now once I've made this folder I'll have to right click on this and I'll go to properties I will come down to sharing from the top I'll click on this share button and I'll make sure I highlight my username and I'll click on share I'll again highlight the folder phone sync and I'll click on done once I'm done with this I'll click on advanced sharing and I'll click on this checkbox this will be unchecked so I'll have to click on this and then I'll have to select this drop down and select the folder which I want to share on network and I'll then click on permissions I'll make sure these three boxes are checked I'll click on apply I'll click on ok and we are done with the settings so this is this is the settings which we have to do after making a folder apart from this we'll also have to come down at the extreme button right hand corner and you'll see this uh, you know, a small network icon we'll have to right click on it and we'll have to click on open network and internet settings here we'll have to click on sharing options from here we'll have to you know click on this drop down which says private and we'll click on this turn on network discovery this is the radio button we'll have to you know tick mark this radio button then we'll have to check mark this box which says turn on automatic setup and then we'll also have to you know click on this radio button which says turn on file and printer settings and then we'll have to click on cancel I mean I have clicked on cancel you guys have to click on save and save changes or something like that so uh, you guys will have to click on save changes yeah so once you guys click on save changes you'll have to close this page and you'll have to again close this page so guys we are done with the settings in our computer now we'll get back to the phone so after we've done the settings in the computer we'll have to come down and we'll have to click on this target folder destination we'll have to click on this drop down which says internal storage and we'll have to click on this SMB server once we select SMB server in this drop down we'll have to click on search SMB server and this will probably bring up my computer right here as you guys can see once you come here you'll have to just leave uh, leave this thing for a while to complete to 100% and you'll get the search results so probably my desktop has already appeared here because I've done this before so I'll click on this desktop and my desktop will be selected in the selection right here as you guys can see now I'll come down and I'll enter uh, my username and password first off I'll have to check mark this box which says user account name and password so check mark this box and enter the username and password for your computer so guys we are doing this because the folder which we've shared with this application is password protected as well as my computer account is password protected so this uh, this entire thing works only when you have turned on the security so make sure you have the username and password for your computer only then this process will work so I'm gonna enter my username and password so once I'm done with entering the username and password for my computer, I'll have to click on this list shares right here. These are the shared folders from my PC. I will go for the folder which we've made, uh, this one, phone sync. And I'll click on OK. And we have selected the destination folder. This is the phone sync, the destination folder, which is inside a computer. Now we're almost done. We'll just have to click on save. I will bring up this error message do not get bothered by this because it just is just a kind of error message which comes and uh, once you click on this ok it will select this uh, connection anyway AP settings once I click on ok if you go down here it shows uh, connect to any AP right here and you'll have to again click on ok again it will give you this error click on ok now as of now we are done with the settings right here 
uh, we have given the address for our source we have given the address for our destination we have also give us, made a separate folders uh, which can interact with each other in order to sync things or sync the data uh, now I'll go to schedule because as of now we are just done with making the uh, arrangements when it comes to folders we have to do few more things uh, uh, like we'll have to instruct our software uh, to do a sync process like selecting it selecting an interval or kind of things like that so we'll go to schedule now and we'll click on this plus arrow at the bottom which will help us to uh, add the schedule now I'll have to name the schedule first so let it be uh, sync PC so now I'll click on enable uh, schedule I'll click on this drop down so I prefer keeping this on interval because this gives me the fact flexibility to select the minutes so I have kept it on one minute so that my uh, you know once my phone comes into network in every one minute my data will be synced with my computer and I'll go at the bottom and I'll click on save and that's it guys we are done with the settings for our folders now I'll go back to my computer and we'll check if my contents are being synced in the folder which we've made in the computer so let's go to the computer so guys this is the folder which we've made I'm gonna keep this folder open and check if things are being synced here as you guys can see uh, the folder is being populated and there will be 19 items as you guys can see right here so the folder which we made inside our phone uh, it was having 19 items as I've shown you guys like in the first part uh, these all are the 19 items as you guys can see right here now I'm gonna show you something and the thing which I'm gonna show you right now it actually you know it actually shows the beauty of this entire thing so let me just uh, let's delete all the things which are there in our computers folder so that we get a fresh start this is the setting which we've made I'm gonna click on it so we'll go to source folder and we'll change the source folder uh, so let's go for dsim and I'll select camera and as I mentioned earlier uh, in in the introduction that you know you, once you click the photo it will get synced with your computer and uh, so that if you guys by mistakenly delete the photo from your phone it will still be there in your computer so I'm gonna save this for now now I have made the changes uh, so that the camera folder gets synced with my computer's folder I mean gets synced with my computer so that whenever I click any photo it will go into my computer's folder and the photo will be directly routed there so let's go ahead and click the photos I'm gonna increase the brightness so that you guys can see things real time so I'm, I'm clicking few photos right here so let's go ahead and click the photo this is the first photo Okay, I will click few more photos. So let's click the photo of the battery charger as well. Okay. I mean, if there are more numbers, it will actually give me more transparency if things are getting synced real time. So um, these were the three photos I've clicked. Let me just click few more photos. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Okay. So in total, I have clicked four or five photos. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've got like six items in my camera folder and I'm gonna exit out of it. Now I'll go to the application and I'll turn on the sync process. Enable sync and I'll click on save. Okay, perfect. Now the synchronization process has been started. Now I'll jump to my computer and I will open the folder in which my contents will be uh, synced. So let's go to the computer. So this is the folder and the photos will be inside this folder anytime from now. Apart from those six photos, I will click few more photos uh, in the background so that you guys will see photos coming inside this folder real time. As you guys can see in the folder, things are getting populated. So guys, that's it. That's how you do settings. I hope you guys understood whatever I you know showed you guys in this small tutorial thanks a lot
So that's it for today guys. Thanks a lot for being a part of this video. Thanks a lot for joining in. Uh, I hope this video will provide you all the necessary information you need. If you guys have any questions to ask, you guys can feel free to write down your questions in the comments box down there. If you guys are new to my channel, Adam's Tech Guide, please consider subscribing to this channel. Once you subscribe to this channel, there will be a you know bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Please make sure you click on that bell icon to get the notifications about my latest videos. There are lots of uh, new things to come on my channel. Please support my channel by subscribing to it. Thanks a lot for joining me in this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.